Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, and a really warm welcome to you this evening. My name is Jo, and I run a program here called People of the Earth. And a strand of that work is Listen to the World, a place where we celebrate the traditions, the talents of people who have made the UK their home. Before I begin this evening, um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the space we're sitting in here. And I'm just going to ask um, Ahmed, we're not quite ready. Okay. Okay, please come on in. So, is there anybody here who's new this evening? Okay. An especially warm welcome to you and welcome back to everybody who's been here before. And if you're joining us online, a very warm welcome to St. Ethelburgers. So where we're sitting here, uh, this building is over 800 years old. It was, used to be one of the oldest churches in London and it used to be one of the tallest buildings in the area, if you can believe that. And then in 1993, the IRA planted a bomb intended to cause as much damage to the city as possible. And this church was destroyed, apart from the pillars, and every pane of glass within a half-mile radius of here was destroyed. But the Bishop of London decided that as much as faith can destroy, um, it can be a place of unity as well. And so, in 2002, St. Ethelberger's Centre for Reconciliation and Peace reopened. So this is really um, very old ground that we're sitting and standing on. And through, throughout the years, um, people from all nations, of all faiths, have come through our doors here. And whether you have an deep ancestral roots here in the UK, or whether you arrived here yesterday, this is a place of welcome. So with all of that, tonight we are just one family. And we have an incredible evening lined up for you. I'm going to introduce you to our compere for the evening, Hawa Khan, shortly. Um, and then we will hear the Citizens of the World Choir. And they have the most incredible evening um, prepared for us. And our connection with the choir goes back to um, just 2021, when this program, Listen to the World, um, reopened, it had been closed for a while, but re uh, reopened, relaunched, and one of the first performers we had was a fabulous British Nigerian singer called Bumi Thomas. And Bumi was a member and is a member of the Citizens of the World Choir. And since then, we've welcomed other people from the choir as well to perform here as soloists, um, musicians, and poets. So it's a huge pleasure for me and for the program to welcome the whole choir here um, this evening. Um, thank you. And that actually is a really timely reminder. <laughs> um, if you have your uh, mobile phone on you, please could you turn your mobile phone off um, or to silence. And uh, just a couple of other practical things. We're not expecting a fire, um, the, a, a fire alarm to go off. If it does, um, please do remain calm just while we check whether it's toast burning in the kitchen or it's something we need to be concerned about. Um, and the only other thing is, is a very practical thing. The bathrooms here are down the side and to the right and just through the wooden doors there. I think that's all from me for now. Um, again, it's such a pleasure to have you all here. 
And now I'd like to introduce you to Hawa Khan, a musician, facilitator, and a fabulous compare for citizens, uh, um, for Listen to the World. Hawa, welcome. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. So, welcome, welcome. Uh, I see that we have some people who are here for the first time, so we have some newbies, and then we have some Effelbergers regulars. So you will know that we like for you to participate at your comfort level, okay? The first time that I came here, I was dancing in the back, and I recall sweating, I was dancing that much, because it was so good what was happening up here. I'm not suggesting anybody does that. Um, hand clapping, you know, um, as a musician, I'm very conscious, and I've had that conversation with other musicians here about what we get from our audience is what we give. So your presence is felt, you're here, that's wonderful. But also your full attention, so your presence in that sense, that would be wonderful. But we would also like that energy. So, you know, I'm not performing tonight, but can we re-rehearse that clap that you just gave me when I came up? <laughs> yeah, thank you. You know, make those hands warm because it ain't outside. Um, so I urge you to, um, yeah, make our, this wonderful choir, I mean, we are going to be full and to make them feel at home, make them feel welcome, make them feel warmed with your applause and appreciated. So I want to tell you a bit about Becky, who is the choir master and the founder. And I have just met Becky this evening and we had uh, maybe a two minute conversation. And in that time, what I got from Becky, not only was I inspired, but also the fact that she is someone who has answered the call. You know, we all get the call. I'm not talking about the one on the phone. Although sometimes it does come through on the phone. Um, she answered a call for a need. There was, there was a requirement of love to be filled. And so Becky filled that. Becky is a classically trained percussionist, singer, and pianist who trained at Trinity Laban. And while she was there, she was, kind of, I, she was kind of like, nah, this isn't really me. And she wanted to join Stomp, which we, I think, is still running in the West End. But yeah, I see some nodding heads, so we know. Um, and so weekends, drama school, and then finally arriving at that wonderful space where she's in Stomp on the West End, dreams fulfilled. Um, and 11 years ago, um, started her own music academy. And we talked briefly about, you know, what the next part of the journey at the refugee camps in Calais. She took seven of her teachers with her and they taught music to the children there. How wonderful. Um, consequently, uh, I got to give a shout out to Lord Roger Robert. And this gentleman decided, and he was also very passionate about this cause of the children in the camps in Calais, and decided to start a choir, Citizens of the World Choir, as, a, as another way of reaching that healing energy or that, um, that love and that compassion to those people who were already here. That was supposed to be for five months. Six and a half years later, we have the Citizens of the World Choir. Please give them a very warm round of applause.
We feel very welcomed. Thank you for hosting us in this beautiful space. Hello to the people that are joining us on the live stream. So we are going to start off with a song called Songs for the People. It was written by our amazing Tom Donald, who was one of our co-founders for starting the choir and an incredible composer. We actually performed this at Glastonbury last year for the first time, and whilst we were on stage singing it, he heard harmonies in his head downloaded from the universe. So he came back home, scribbled the harmonies down, and we have now learned a new version with harmonies. So, the lyrics were written by Frances Ellen Watkins Harper. She was an African-American abolitionist, suffragette, poet and teacher from about 150 years ago. And we love that we are singing her words today. We've got the wonderful soloist, Agus Rugalugu, singing with us. So, here is Songs for the People. For old and young, oh, songs that stir like a battle cry whenever they are sung. Not the clashing sabers, nor carnage or strife, but songs that fill the hearts of us with more abundant life that we make so for the wind. number isn't it? I must feel like I've done a bit of an exercise class after that one. Thank you so much Aga, that was absolutely beautiful. All right, Ijeoma. It'll be a performer now and be like, 
Hi, my name is Becky. Hi, my name is Becky, and I'm the co-founder and conductor of the Citizens of the World Choir. We are a choir for refugees, migrants, asylum seekers, and allies. My name is Ijoma. I am from Nigeria. I sing and work for the choir. We started in 2017 in response to the refugee crisis in Europe. We have 50 members in our full choir, representing 30 different countries and tribes from around the world. As you heard, we are the brainchild of Lord Roger Roberts, a wonderful peer who campaigns for refugee rights and human rights. We are so happy to be singing for you today. We have a couple of songs, a bit of poetry, some piano playing, and we are going to introduce you to the whole choir after this song. Thank you. Our next song is called Chaya Chimen. It is a Turkish number. We were so lucky to be taught this by two incredible musicians, Mehmet and Kadir. Have any of you guys seen them before? Because they've performed here. Ah, yeah, so they've performed here before. And it's been wonderful to learn this piece of music from them. So we've got Mehmet on the violin. Let's give him a cheer. <laughs> and we've got Kadir on. Does anyone know what instrument this is? <gasps> yeah. It's a Saz. <laughs> well done. All right, here we go. Yanma yüreğim yanma ayrılık bize düş Of nenem of yanma yüreğim yanma ayrılık bize düştü Of nenem Thank you. 
All right, so you know Mehmet and Kadir, but now it's his time to introduce you to the rest of the choir. Ichioma, who are you? What's your name and where are you from? Hi, it's me again. My name is Ichioma. I'm from Nigeria. My name is Josephine Mas uh, from Congo. My name is Anna Maria. I'm from Ukraine. My name is Olena. I'm from Ukraine too. My name is Ebtisam. I'm from Asia. My name is Sirini. I'm from Sri Lanka. Imelda from Zambia. Gabriel from Congo. My name is Dennis. I'm from Belarus. My name is Alan, I'm from Yorkshire. I'm Alex from Georgia. I'm Esther from the UK. I'm Elizabeth from Congo. I'm Sarah from London, England. I'm Debbie from Gambia. <laughs> I'm Sandra from London via Italy. I'm Abdiola from Nigeria, giant of Africa. Woo! I'm Ali from London. I'm Susanna from Nigeria. Cecilia <laughs> from South London. I'm Noriko from Hiroshima, Japan. I'm uh, Helen from Yorkshire, UK. Cecilia from Italy. Sarah from Manchester. Nahid from Congo. Naomi from Kenya. Francesco from Italy. James from London. Josh from England. <laughs> Mari from Croatia. Adele from Congo. Jiska <laughs> from Congo. Next up, we have some poetry for you. So I'd like to introduce you to Ibtisam. Ibtisam, come down. <laughs> Ibtisam is an incredible poet and artist, and we have just made her an associate artist of the choir. So Ibtisam, here is, you, you talk about your poetry. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. You're welcome here to come to attend our concert. I wrote a poem called I Said Yes. So it is actually about the asylum seeker, but it is for everyone. When you have something and you feel you have right and you, have, you struggle and you would like to say to yourself, I say yes, I will do it. I have to do it. And I say yes by Arabic. I means Anna. Say, Aul. Yes, Naam. So let's, let's try to learn this so you can join me. Anna. Anna. أقول نعم أنا أقول نعم Ah, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. And when, I, when we come, when I said, I say, you always say yes. But English is easy. And we will repeat together <laughs> the Arabic part. They say leave. I say stay. They are hostile. I am friendly. They say no. I say yes. yes. They have authority. I have God. They create fear. I love safety. They detain people. We get released. They discriminate against people. I feel equal. They spread stress. I meditate and relax. They say no. I say yes. Ana aul naam. They refuse. We go to court. I fight back. I will win. I say yes, yes, yes. Anna Aul Nam Nam Nam. That's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. How oh, very poetic to have the bell ringing. Is she finished? All right. Debbie and Karina are going to read another of Ibtisam's poems. The 
song that I'm going to read is called Spring Breath. And let us love with every last breath. Let us love with every last breath. Let's watch the elegant devils. Let's sleep. Green, yellow, blue, purple. Let's feel the spirit of the past. And let us love with every last breath. of loveliness. Thank you. That was Debbie and Karina. Next up, we have Elena. Elena and I are going to play some piano together. Elena. Um, I would like uh, to play uh, we, uh, together with Becky, uh, will um, play for you today uh, some Brahms. Um, because of uh, 190 birthday of Brahms this year, and we play for you two waltz, uh, two waltzes, um, Opus uh, uh, 39, and um, they are different. Um, as number nine is minor, um, and number 15 is major. Number 15 uh, is very famous, and uh, this waltz live his own life. I just want to say that um, all cycle um, of Brahms uh, was written him uh, like a tribute for Vienna, his lovely and adopted city. <laughs> Just um, another romantic of 19th century is Chopin. Um, I play for you um, national Polish dance uh, Mazurka, two Mazurka for you. Thank you. 
so you got double Chopin and no Brahms. Is that a fair exchange? Yeah. They loved you, Elena. Well done. All right, we are going to move on to Shedrick, which is our last piece of the first half. We have got lovely Anna Maria and Meg doing some little solos. Shedrick is a beautiful Ukrainian song. Um, I first heard it many years ago, which you guys might recognize it as Carol of the Bells, which was sung on Home Alone. And I thought it was a, an American song um, and found out that it was a U Ukrainian folk song. So we have learned it in both English and Ukrainian. Um, we are going to be singing it in Ukrainian tonight. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
you so much. And um, soloist Meg and Anna Maria from Ukraine, who spoke Ukrainian so beautifully. And Annie, thank you so much. And of course, Barney, always Barney. And um, that is the end of our first half. Is it time for tea and cake or something? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, good. Is it time for tea and cake or something? Well, I don't know, Becky. Is it time for tea and cake? Um, is it time for tea and cake? Okay, definitely, I think a well-earned break. That was gorgeous. I was just sitting here, was it not? I, I feel like that I am the most delightful, colorful, enjoyable variety something extravaganza. That's how I feel. Beautiful and love, absolutely love the poetry as well. Um, it is that time. Spiced apple, people, that's all I've got to say. Mm -hmm. For those of you who haven't had it before, it's good. Um, and so we also have um, some gluten-free biscuits and ginger cake. On that note, I think we should all make exit. What I will say is it's by do it is by donation, so please give generously, and please eat generously, and drink the lovely spiced apple. Um, can we have another round of applause? Thank you. Wonderful. All right, and then I will see you in all in a bit. Thank you very much, Becky.
Okay. All right. Just settling back in. Wonderful. No, everybody's had their spiced apple. It was good, wasn't it? So good. Um, I'm excited to welcome you back. Um, and before we hear some more of your beautiful offerings, uh, a little bit of a QA. and a that would be nice. Is there anybody in specifically who would like to? Yes, we have four choir members who are happy to do some Q&As with you. So Marvellous. Please, can we have, is it Jane? No, uh, Josh and Sandra, Bellini and Gabriel. Come forward, please. Lovely. Thank you. Very good. So I don't have to do this at all. So I'm going to give you this, because this is a bit, ha can you see how handy that is? Because then I can, otherwise I'm reaching. So enjoy it and you can pass it along. So this is out to you, the audience. Do you have any questions for our Citizen of the World Choir? Anyone at all? Oh, I see a few people like, I'm thinking, yes. How difficult is it, or how easy is it to sing in a language that isn't your native tongue? Shall I go? Um, so we're, obviously we're singing in different languages, so we all have that challenge um, at some point during the process. Sometimes it takes us about eight weeks in total. For example, Shedrick, I think it took us eight weeks. And we, we, ha we had a consultant from America, a Ukrainian lady at that time, who, who assisted us. And of course, members of our own choir who assisted us. So it takes, it takes roughly about eight to 10 weeks. Would you agree? Yes, I agree. Yeah. Eight to 10 weeks. Wonderful, thank you. Um, any other questions, please? Oh. Was that so? We have two questions, and was it where do you practice? Where do you practice? I think we've got some people who might want to join Becky. So, where do you practice? Yeah, uh, in, the, in the, my scene house, Greenwich, North Greenwich, yeah. at Mycenae House in Greenwich in South East London on a Wednesday evening. Uh, the choir is full at the moment, but we are taking applications from September. Uh, we are open to both uh, refugee members and allied members. Um, the two things we ask are that you live in London, and it's great if you can sing already. You don't need to be a pro singer, but if you are a semi-pro or a keen amateur singer, that is what we're looking for. Ooh, oh, yeah, I didn't give you the details, did I? Go to our website and fill in a form. <laughs> oh, am I? C O T W choir dot com. I think we've got some. C O T W choir dot com. <laughs> yeah? Got it? Good. We sang it. Um, sir, you had a question at the back. Can you say something about what led you up to saying stick or, uh, you know, satisfaction you get from being in the choir? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful question. So what satisfaction, what pleasure, what joy, what uh, do you get from being in the choir? Uh, choir? Yes. Uh, because um, choir is a place, uh, to me, it's a therapeutic. So it relieves my own distress when I'm in the choir. Because as a asylum seeker, it's not easy. So I'm through the going lot of distress and obstacles. So choir is a place, it gives me hope, and it's like for my family. So that's why I love choir. That's wonderful. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, choir is my second family, and uh, I'm less isolated. Yeah. I I get 
more uh, understanding from the staff, and uh, I get friend in in this choir. So can I say again, it's my second family. really really important experience but it's also important in terms of the message that we convey when we sing together and, and make music together and it's about unity it's about tolerance and it's really really important in the times that we are in now for that message to keep on being repeated and for, and for you know our visibility I think that's the that's one of the central um, premises. It's about being visible and encouraging tolerance mm. and encourage, uh, encouraging a change of thought and a change of policy yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. fundamentally. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would echo that um, exactly, but I would also say uh, one of the things that I've learned, I've just been back with the choir for a, a short period of time, a few months but just uh, getting to understand, as I call myself an allied member, how uh, in a society where we have refugees and asylum seekers and people who are born outside of this country, it can be easy to fall into a position of thinking that we need to just help people because we are uh, stronger or more independent, but actually just having people who are independent or joining the choir, you know, it's a, a, uh, it's a joint effort when you're singing. Uh, if anyone is um, withdrawing or anyone is overreaching, uh, then the choir is off balance. But being able to be an ally to be there if people need support, but not just to go, hi, I'm going to stand up and, and help you. That's not always the relationship. So it's been really emboldening and enriching for me um, to experience that and, and see wonderful independent people singing alongside me. That's wonderful, thank you. Um, just out to the audience one more time if there are any other questions. Yes. A mixture, really. Um, uh, we have choir members who are musicians. In fact, we, we had a recent open mic night. We are such a talented group, oh my God. <laughs> We have poets, we have musicians, but we also have guests who come and support us and share with us and make us stronger. Um, but yeah, um, so a mixture. Did you say it was Wednesday nights? Okay, good. Just, just, just noting that. Um, I want to ask if any of you have any questions for our audience, and I open that up to the whole choir. Do you have any questions for our audience? Yes. Thank you very much. Come. I'm from the audience. I would like to ask, is there anyone who would like to join the choir? Oh. <laughs> I think we... In a, in a week, that is on Wednesday from 7 to 9.15. <laughs> wonderful, what a wonderful invitation. I think there are many, I mean, I'm moved, I'm moved, I'm definitely, I might have to pop in on a Wednesday evening and see what's going on, flex the vocal tones. Um, gosh, I could have you up here just answering a whole heap of questions, and if there are no other questions from you all, then can we have some more music now, please? Yeah. Wonderful. I'm going to grab those mics from you. Big round of applause, please. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And over to you, Becky. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we have Citizens of the World Choir. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you guys, this is such a lovely place. Look at such good vibes here. And you're such a lovely audience, so thank you so much. So we are going to start off the second half with Agus Rugulugu. I love his name so much. 
What does it mean? Is it Nigerian for prince or something? Yeah, Ghana. Ugandan. 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 Chosen. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So a bit of the story about how we met Aga. A couple of years ago, we were lucky enough to do a project at the Royal Opera House. It was amazing. Uh, I worked there as an usher when I was a music student. It was great to go back 20 years later with the amazing choir. Um, and Aga worked with us on a project we were there, and we all just fell in love with him straight away. And so we've developed our relationship with him over the past couple of years. He's come in to lead workshops and songs with us. And we have recently invited him to be an associate artist with us as well. So we love you, Aga. Thank you very much. <laughs> and he is now going to play and sing something. And there might be some audience participation. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play for you a song, which is called Misty Water, and then I'm going to invite you to uh, do some stuff. Misty water flows over undergrowth and cares not the rock face for courts unknown. The whirlpool swirls and changes direction to the river pulse so musical so magical somber dragon flies to embattled skies spitting fires of anger Objectifies, he tours and glides and zips through the laser beams, avoids the swat all about his life is short. Yes, I love.
And here's where you come into it. Here we go. So I'm um, going to split the room in, in half. This side, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to stamp. So it's going to be stamp, 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 stamp. Let's hear it. Nice and strong. That's a straw. With a bit of a shimmy. <laughs> you don't have to shimmy. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. And stop this group. You've got a clapping rhythm. In my head, it's always I love fish and chips. It doesn't have to be I love fish and chips, but, but, but it is. I love fish and chips. I love fish and chips. Go! Stamp, stamp, people, stamp. <laughs> and stop. Very good. Repeat after me. Standing. 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 Standing, 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 standing. Standing, 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 standing. And at the end you go, hey! Just try the ending. Hey! With a bit more gusto, please. Hey! Fine, like you mean it. Hey! I think we've graduated. <laughs> I think we're
amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. This is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, you're up next. <laughs> you, I'm so sorry. You've got to follow that. We're just going to take it down a level now, okay? We're going to hear the wonderful Mehmet and Kadir back up to the stage. While you guys get ready, I should have um, said before that song, we're about to sing a traditional Zulu folk song. Um, <laughs> Sia Hamba was the very first song that we learned in Citizens of the World back in our first rehearsal in 2017. And it's been a firm favourite ever since. But because we don't like to do anything the same, we constantly evolve our songs and rearrange our songs. And that's the current version. I think it's probably our best. What do you reckon? Mehmet Kadir and Barney. And was that a Turkish song? Yeah, Turkish song. Okay, so uh, we've been going six and a half years, which is crazy because we started as a five-month voluntary project that we somehow forgot to stop. 
Um, and about three years ago, we transitioned to becoming a professional music organisation. We've been lucky enough to play at places like Glastonbury, uh, the Royal Opera House, a platinum party at the Palace for Her Majesty last summer, uh, for the UNHCR. Uh, we centre dignity and thriving, not just surviving. Um, it's wonderful to be here this evening. If you've liked this, we have got another gig on Sunday the 16th of July at the Barbican at 3pm. Uh, so please do come along to that. And then we are recording our first album in the autumn, which we are so excited about. So uh, follow us on all the socials, do that thing, sign up. We've got a monthly newsletter. Stay in touch with us. Um, we love hearing from people. Come and be part of our community and be on this crazy, beautiful journey with us. <laughs> it's time for our next song now. Are we ready at the back? We're doing it with a backing track. It's very brilliant. All right, we're ready. We're ready. Here we go. Good evening. Um, earlier this year, we were incredibly lucky to perform this next song live on the stage at the Barbican as part of a groundbreaking show called A Play for the Living in a Time of Extinction by Miranda Rose Hall. Now, as an ecologist, my day job is managing nature reserves, and I particularly love this song because it brings two things, my love of singing and my desire to protect the environment. It's also a damn good song and a lot of fun to sing. A song by Paul Clark, Song for the Living. sit with my friends in their beautiful garden. They offer me a glass of cool, cool water. We are facing west. The verge across the street is overgrown, and we hope that no one mows it. Wildflowers and wild grasses have sprung up on their own. will come. We do not know how long we'll live or how children we love will suffer. I think I skipped I skipped a word I skipped a word or two as well, so it's fine. Take two. Well, you already know all this, don't you? <laughs> yes, we did this live at the Barbican as part of a bigger play called Play for the Living in a Time of Extinction. Now, this song is by Paul Clark and it's called Song for the Living. do it a bit differently now. I sit with my friends in their beautiful garden. We are facing west. The verge across the street is overgrown, and we hope that no one mows it. Wild flowers and wild grasses have sprung up on their own. We do not know the future or how it will come. We do not know how long we'll live 
or how children we love will suffer. We fear for our earth, for our city, for the suffering that has come to pass. And yet we are alive. We sit with so many tensions and somehow with each other. We bless, we bless, we bless, we bless life in the final hours of the day. to learn to sing and we love singing it. So I just want to do some quick thank yous to everyone involved tonight. The amazing music team, Anu! <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> Barney on piano! <laughs> Mehmet and Kadir! <laughs> in the choir who did solos tonight, weren't they amazing? <laughs> Thank you all to the amazing team who make citizens of the world work behind the scenes. Rachel, Rachel, Meg, Fran, Oriel, Tess, you are all amazing and I thank you all very much. And we'd like to thank Joe and all the team here at St. Ethelburgers for hosting us. It's been so lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you to the sound team. Thank you to the lighting. Thank you to the host. It's been such a wonderful experience. Thank you. Okay, this brings us to our last number. This is a piece called Raise the Vibration. Have you heard of Basement Jacks? Yeah, yeah. And I was a bit like that when I met him. We've uh, become really good friends with Felix Buxton from Basement Jacks, who is one half of Basement Jacks and has been a great ally and creative friend to us. We recorded this next track in lockdown. Like, it was like five of us in like, this massive room, all two meters apart in our own separate sound booths. And we somehow managed to record this amazing track. And it's a great reminder, you know, of even when things are tough, we can still raise the vibration so this is going to be a bit of an audience participation number again so i'm just giving you fair warning there's going to be dancing and clapping and singing are you ready yeah. i think you can do better than that are you ready yeah. Yeah. Could it do 
CJ. <laughs> What an incredible ending. Thank you so much to Becky and to every single member of the Citizens of the World Choir. <laughs> and we wish you every success with the performance of the Barbican and all going forward. It's been I think you referred to the talent and everything as a smorgasbord. And I think we have traveled to parts of the world 
which have reminded us of being a bigger human family. So thank you so much. And we send you our love and good wishes with the choir and all as individuals um, in the next stage of your journey. Thank you. And just to, just to reiterate, I just want to name the members of the team here um, who make these evenings happen. So, in no particular order, Thibaut, Nelson, Sitha, Ahmed, Jonti, um, Gary. Gary, sorry, thank you, and also to our wonderful compere, Hawa Khan. Thank you. We're taking a break in August and we'll be back in September where we have the fabulous Guri Chowdhury bringing of sounds of Bengal. Um, thank you so much for being here. Safe travel home and we look forward to welcoming you back again. Thank you. Good night. Good night.